In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this LPS wardrobe closet and it has mirror doors. Closets can come in different sizes and they can be decorated in different manner. Basically, this is what we're going to make. This is going to be the closet. This more or less are going to be the doors. You will need scissors and popsicles of all sizes, including jumbo and the smallest size. You start by taking four small size popsicles, cut off the tops, and that's more or less the length that you are left with, and cut four jumbo popsicles of the same height. Take a jumbo popsicle on one side of it, glue the smallest popsicle. Now at the remaining space, glue the large popsicle. Now turn around and at the remaining space glue another small popsicle. And now repeat it so you have two of these. And file the edges if you can. Take a jumbo popsicle stick and mark the height of the closet. Glue here on the side. I took a few small pieces of medium sized popsicles and I'll glue them to the wall of the closet. Take another jumbo popsicle stick of the same height and glue it to the shelves. Now you can add a small shelf to it. In addition, I took a small piece of a wooden dowel and two beads and I will now glue them inside the closet. Now attach the second bead and now attach the second wall. I have here two pieces of wooden dowels which are the height of the closet and I glue them right here in the front. It should not be attached to this wall, but it should be quite close. The same with the second one. Take two straws and measure the height of the straw. However, make it slightly lower than the dowel itself. Yes, that, that's the perfect height. Make two of these. And now let us figure out the size of the doors. You see we already know the height of the door. Now we need to measure the space between the straws. See if they fit between the straws. So now you just have to find the middle of it and cut in two. One more thing to do mirror doors. Cut a piece that will be as large in the door and there's going to be room to cover this row. Now I will glue together the cardboard, the foil and eventually the straw.
choose any beads for the handles I will use two beads in our case to finish the closet take the part that we prepared in advance and glue it at the top of the closet and make sure that the dowels are glued to the popsicle There is only one thing to do is to figure out the size of the cardboard at the back and once you've done it you can start gluing it and I seal it as well as I can to prevent the doors from going inside I will glue this piece of cardboard and inside that's just something I cut out of a magazine you can glue your LPS's favorite pictures to make the hangers I'm taking two popsicle sticks a piece of a wire I bend the wire around the popsicle I trim off the excess and I bend the wire around a pencil trim off the excess done and it can go inside the closet and here I have a couple of dresses that I made for my um, boutique tutorial and they're not LPS dresses they're just here for the pur purpose of demonstration at the bottom you can have your tiny LPS shoes and there is room for a blanket there is room for towels and then this department they can have their cosmetics a blow dryer that we already have and this little mirror that was made by the way by gluing two beads and they by punching holes in this foil lid and then I simply glued the pieces of paper on each side There's a mirror. You can put boxes here and you can put a little mirror inside as well. Well, ignore the fact that we already have mirrors outside. And since we already have covered here tons of mirrors, I'll show you these two. This is a piece of a cardboard, then a piece of a foil lid and this is just foam paper and the bead and this bead and the, this mirror I try to make more like Hollywood like and I glued beads finally my last tip all this is not necessary if you are willing to use this construction it's very simple two pieces of jumbo popsicle sticks on the sides to inside wooden dowel to beads just as here and the hangers and um, 
that's a quick craft and here I simply glued a piece of foam paper for decoration.